As computers work purely in binary, only being able to understand ones and zeros, we can't have the usual negative sign to represent negative numbers. So how can a computer interpret negative two, for example? There are two methods. The first is sign and magnitude, where the leading bit is used in place of a positive or negative sign. A zero means the number is positive, and a one means the number is negative. While this is straightforward, it isn't generally used, as a single one or zero becomes meaningless, and a one zero or one zero zero and so on all mean negative zero. This is an inefficient use of a bit. The standard method to represent negative numbers is using two's complement, where the most significant bit, the digit furthest to the left, is a negative column. This still means that a leading one indicates a negative number and a zero means positive, but even a single one has meaning and we don't end up with negative zero to convert a two's complement binary into deanery. We use the exact same process as we do with converting regular numbers. Keeping in mind that the most significant bit is negative, we add up the columns. To convert a positive number from deanery to two's complement, we first convert as usual. Then add a zero at the front to indicate that the negative bit is zero. Without that, the number would be minus 23. To convert a negative number, we first convert as usual. Then find the least significant bit, the one furthest to the right. Flip all of the bits to its left and add a one at the front. If we double check, you can see that the answer is correct. We convert as usual. Find the least significant bit, flip everything to its left and add a one to the front. If you'd like to learn how binary fractions work or how to convert with normalized floating point, check out one of these videos. To practice two's complement yourself, click on the link in the description.